ain't no nothing. That 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 carried me to this day, man. You can't say nothing about your loss of your heart. She off limits, man. We ain't playing them games. But right. and I have the key to women keeping their heart attached. I was a womanizer, now I'm a woman advisor. You'll die for them. Real talk. See, that's that's what cats out here be running their mouth, you know, on, on you don't understand. I will die for them. Now, whatever you saying, and that yakety yak you talking, you ain't willing to die for what you saying, right. but I'm willing to die over what you said. Now, that's a different dude here we talking to now. Mm. See, cause we talking, we talking about grown ass man now. As of late, the Harvey family has been going through some absolute chaos, and there's no signs of stopping anytime soon. In the past, we've seen Steve Harvey abandoning his kids and wife, and then Marjorie popped into the picture. Plus, there was also that drama with Lori and MBJ. But now things have escalated to a whole new level. Steve's beloved wife, Marjorie Harvey, has come into the spotlight once again because she was allegedly caught cheating on Steve. And not just with one person, two of their staff. One, a chef at the house, and the other, Steve's own personal bodyguard. Now, all the chaos has become public knowledge. Steve is pissed. So let's find out what he had to say. But before we get into it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss out on any new videos. It's free and helps us bring out new content for your enjoyment. Honestly, Steve and Marjorie's history is a crazy little love story. They took their sweet time finding each other. It was back in 1990 when they first met at a Memphis comedy club called The Comedy Zone. Steve was on stage doing his thing, and Marjorie must have had something special about her because she caught Steve's attention. But that was just it, his attention. It was later in 2018 when Marjorie reminisced about the moment, saying, He just kept staring at me, so now it's kind of awkward. And so he finally realized, okay, I gotta say something. He was like, Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know who this is, but I'm gonna marry her. Cute, right? And they did at one point give dating a shot, but things didn't really work out. It was in 2014 when Marjorie spilled the beans, saying, I knew he was the one shortly after I started dating him, but then he just left, disappeared. And hey, it could have been because of Steve's rocky history with relationships. He's had a bit of a past when it comes to the marriage department. His first wife, Marcia Harvey, was in 1981, but they called it quits in 1990, divorcing in 1994. Then he moved on to Mary Lee Shackelford. They tied the knot in 1996, but, well, history repeated itself and they divorced in 2005. It was after that second hit in the love department that Steve's trusty bodyguard decided to play Cupid. He gave him a reality check, saying, Look, the only time I've ever seen you happy was when you were with that woman Marjorie. Now before you go and do something stupid and marry another woman, I'm calling her. I mean, that's a pretty good friend, right? And let's just say that call was a game changer. Steve said, Marjorie changed the way I existed. It was like being reborn. I messed up so many times in my life, she made all the difference. Finally, on June 25th, 2007, they sealed the deal and got hitched. Fast forward to this past summer, they celebrated their 16th wedding anniversary with a trip to Lake Como, Italy. But now, that picture of perfect bliss is being ripped apart. Steve is furious because even though his bodyguard was the one who introduced him to Marjorie, there's also rumors that very same man is the one she's having an affair with. But who exactly is this bodyguard? William Big Boom Freeman. He's not your run-of-the-mill bodyguard. He's actually been Steve's protector for quite some time and is a lot more than just muscle and security. The Texas native is actually a pretty interesting individual. He labels himself as a celebrated relationship speaker, author, and celebrity bodyguard on his website, aptly named I Am Big Boom. So not only has he rubbed elbows with some pretty famous people, he also has quite a bit of confidence and has some of his own relationship insights to dish out. He's a pretty interesting combination. The more interesting combination though, is the fact that apparently Marjorie, the woman who once caught Steve's eye and had him falling head over heels, is now in a whirlwind affair with Big Boom. And not just him, apparently she's also been canoodling with the family's personal chef. The craziest part is that after all this news started seeping out and the whispers started to get louder, Marjorie didn't just roll her eyes and slam the door on the drama. She went big. She filed for divorce and demanded a jaw-dropping $200 million settlement. I mean, you gotta feel for Steve, right? Desperately in love with someone, only to find out that they very well could have been cozying up to other trusted members of your circle. That's heartbreaking for the entire family. And speaking of the family, 
all of them are a bit too embarrassed to have all of this dirty laundry aired out, so they're trying to do some damage control. Steve and Marjorie Harvey have already kind of come out swinging against the rumors. They tried to set the record straight during a business event called InvestFest in Atlanta. Steve wasn't having any of it. He pushed back against these claims that Marjorie had been involved in multiple affairs and was looking for this $200 million divorce settlement. He told the crowd at InvestFest, Before I get started, just let me say, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Meanwhile, Marjorie took to Instagram to address the online chatter, which has taken a pretty nasty turn with misogynistic commentary and jokes at Steve's expense, given his reputation as the author of Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, What Men Really Think About Love, Relationships, Intimacy, and Commitment. In a more reflective tone, Marjorie shared her perspective, saying, My husband and I don't usually stop to address all the foolishness and lies that have been spread about us. However, to whom much is given, much is required. I understand that with my platform comes a sort of responsibility to those that may not be as strong as we are. In fact, they even got the help of some of their friends to dispel these rumors. Ned Nwoko, a Nigerian big shot who claims to be part of the inner circle of the daytime Emmy sensation Steve Harvey, did not hesitate to leap into action. He actually decided to clear the air on his own Instagram. He shared a picture of himself with the couple, captioning it, Fake news has been taken to new heights all over the world, and this is so unfortunate. According to Ned, he and Steve had a heart-to-heart, and the Harvey household isn't just okay, they're thriving. Obviously, there's always a bit of skepticism when friends go to defend each other, especially when the media has been known to jump on Steve for his history. Some folks say that Ned is just trying to protect his friend from the relentless punches that the media keep throwing at them. But the problem is, it's a little too late. The rumor mill already took off, and a lot of people believe there's some sort of truth to the rumors. And it's not entirely surprising, considering Marjorie also has a bit of a rocky reputation when it comes to the relationship world. She's also been through her fair share of divorces and drama. So some say that where there's smoke, there's fire. I guess we'll have to wait to see where the story goes. But one thing's for sure, the whispers aren't quieting anytime soon. So what do you think? Comment down below and let us know. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities. Then God gave her back to me in 2005. I put her name on the back, man. You, you understand me. That's mine right there. Yeah, I own you and you own me. I will kill everybody in here about your ass. Please understand that about the way I love you, Marjorie Elaine.